Okay, tickles. Alright, 20. Hey everybody, welcome to Yeah Buddy. Today I'm going to give you a quick review and demonstrate some of the features of this Jugbo electric training collar. So I'm going to just open it up uh, right away. It was something that Jugbo reached out to me and wanted me to, you know, give them a review on this product. I was kind of hesitant to, let's get something better. I was kind of hesitant to uh, try out an e-collar because I would only do that on the contingent that I try it out on myself. So if you want, stick around into the video because I'm definitely gonna be trying this collar out on myself before I would ever try it out on my pup. So we'll try out the vibration on myself. We'll try out the tone, which I probably won't even be able to hear the pitch on that, but I'm definitely gonna try the shock on myself. I just checked before on Amazon and it looks like you can purchase this and it'll do like one day shipping on it. So it'll come pretty quickly. Let's talk about the features of the remote. First of all, we've got an on switch on the side. Let's flip it on, put it in lock mode. Let's pull this screen saver off, I guess, or screen protector. Boom, let's do that. Okay, so we've got a couple different things. We've got a little knob on the top here. We've got the switch that causes this to vibrate one that causes it to make noise, a button that it causes it to do the uh, e-shock, and then one that's got like some sort of 10% boost on the shock. Got a locking mechanism on the side, so, you know, and then really nothing on the back. Maybe you need to change the battery or something at some point, you would flip that around, but let's turn it on. Turn the lock off. And you can see that, uh, you know, if you zoom in, we've got some different features. This knob on top isn't going to do anything unless you press it down and then you can change the levels of different things it looks like it's on the shock level right now and i think the shock level will go up to goes up to 100 though let's see oh after you get to 50 though it gets like this exclamation point basically saying hey maybe you don't need to go above 50 but clearly jugbo designed this to go above 50 they just i don't know Maybe the, uh, some, some uh, organization made them stop. Oh, you can flip it backwards from 99 to one. I don't know if that's a good feature or not because it's kind of handy, but on the other hand, I wouldn't want to actually accidentally go from one to 99 and then, um, you know, with just one little, one little click. But uh, anyway, so let's check out other features. Let's see the buzz. Oh, I can hear it buzzing across the room on level three. So let's bring it down to a one. You can hear you can hear it. I'm gonna set it right here. Maybe you can hear it when it, while it buzzes. Nothing at one. Um, well, I can't hear it standing here. Let's turn it to two. Oh, I could definitely hear that. Let's turn it to six. A lot more. Let's turn it to 10. Oh, it buzzes longer, I think. And let's turn it all the way to 16. Buzzes even longer, so that seems to be like the length of time that it's buzzing. Oh, beepers, we got the beepers. We got different levels of beeps. F8, F7. I was under, I thought when I, before I got this product that the beeps would be like ultrasonic where a human couldn't hear them and only the dog could, but clearly, you know, this is as, probably as good as shaking a can at your dog. It's just a, it's a training tool that will just get their attention. Doesn't seem like one that's going to, you know, so I, w I don't think that I would recommend using any of these features necessarily alone. They're just going to get your dog's attention at this point. You still, it's, it's just going to be a supplement for, for training your dog and not necessarily a, a replacement for, for training them at this point. This e-collar comes with a test uh, device. It's basically two metal wires running through to this LED. Basically allows you to test if the e-collar is working uh, and, and probably how much. But let's, let's turn them both on. It's unlocked. Should be able to put this bad boy on there. 
and that should light up if we're yeah if we're running so clearly it's working We've got electric current running through enough to light up that little um little light here so i'm gonna try it on my leg oh yeah okay and they have that on level 10 man i don't know if i would do this for a dog that was on my leg on level 10. that didn't feel super good i can tell you that uh i'll try it a little higher but that was okay i saw somebody online and they did it and they said they couldn't even feel it till about 50. 10 was not that comfortable so maybe i'm just a wimp Maybe I just was a little surprised by it. I don't know if I like that, man. All right, 15. All right, here we go on 15. Maybe I'm just a wimp, ready? Okay, tickles after you get used to it. Ugh. Let's try it on 20. Let's cut that, that first fit 10 out where I'm a wimp. <laughs> Took me by surprise, all right? All right, 20. I mean, it certainly tickles. Um, not very, you know, it's a different feeling is what I would say. Not super comfortable. We're going to 25. <laughs> what? Yeah. It's, it's weird. Let's go to 30. I don't know if I'm going to do much more in 30 because it's, starts to tickle a little bit too much okay yeah it doesn't hurt but it's not very fun let's do 35 okay let's try let's try 40 I'm not going any higher than 40 though okay ready <laughs> okay that's about all I'm gonna do so uh, you know, for me as a human, a 40 is not, it's not, uh, it doesn't hurt, but it's not comfortable. I think there's probably a lot more, you know, creative ways that you can, you can train your dog with the other options available on this. I'm going to try the vibrate real quick. Um, you know, vibrate feels similar to probably like a level 10 because it feels more like two prongs vibrating in your leg. Yeah, that's kind of, that doesn't help. The vibration, I think, is probably just, would probably be just as effective as the shock collar, honestly, and probably doesn't have any of the, the adverse consequences, but um, let's take a look at the back of my leg, where the, the prongs were. It's probably because they were pushed in pretty hard and deep. I don't know if I have anything else to say about it. Um, again, it's an e-collar. I didn't really, I didn't particularly enjoy the use of it on my leg uh, at 40 and it goes up to 100. I'm sure I could have kept going and, it, and I'd be just fine. But if I don't really like using it on myself, I don't think that I would use it on my dog. Uh, and, and you know, in the end, would your dog be okay? Probably, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use the shock function on my dog. I can train her with the other functions available on this device which is the vibration uh, setting and the the sound setting so if I